What up y'all and welcome back to another one. A little bit of turkey prep video. Unlock this back again. Just leaving the good old Orsons. Thank you Orsons. Orsons was the only place uh, that had any type of cleaned whole corn. They're the only ones that had any left. Walmart was completely sold out. Uh, turkey prep. We're gonna go sit some cameras. We're gonna go put out some piles of corn today. We drove around all morning long. I'll tell you about that here in a minute. Check this out. I bought this for the pigeons. This is a, a wild bird feed. It's got some milo and sunflower seeds. I thought it'd be pretty darn good for the pigeons. We're getting ready to move them home. I ran out of milo for them. They've been surviving on wheat and corn and that's it. So they'll love that. What'd you get, man? Necessity. Necessity. Give me a second, they're kind of hard to chew. Yeah, they peach are. Rings. <laughs> peach rings. That's a turkey hunt necessity, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, we drove around for uh, what, two to three hours? One o'clock. It's one o'clock. We've drove around since nine. <laughs> three to four hours, let's, let's get that right. And uh, how many turkeys in that three to four hours? And this is honest, did we see? One hen and we got one bird to gobble at us. Yep, we saw a tom, that lone tom, on that tree row up oh, north yeah, of town. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then uh, where I started the video with him clucking, uh, yeah, we seen a hen cross the road. He stepped out, gave him the old ah, 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 crow call, heard nothing, clucked at him a few times, and a uh, tom gobbled back. Couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. I don't know what's going on. I need y'all's help. Where are y'all at? And do you have a lot of turkeys? No, I'm not trying to come hunt your stuff. I just want to know if these turkeys are out gathering up yet, if they're all bunched up, they're not separating, uh, if they're not leaving their roofs very far yet. Uh, what have you guys, what have you guys seen scouting so far? Because uh, they're either, either all dead or something, or uh, they're just not doing their thing yet. They're spring, they're spring flings, you know what I mean? Well, here we are at the next destination. Oh, we are here though. This is the spot. We're gonna be nice and quiet for a minute. <laughs> nothing yet, nothing yet. But right down here is an awesome traffic way. Right here, this little intersection. So this is the road that comes in and you got a little T that drops down off the hill. This is where I sat the corn pile and camera two years ago. I didn't get to kill one in here. I think your old did. Did you kill one in here? My nephew oh, your nephew killed one. See, we've been scratching a little bit. Oh, yeah. Definitely got some scratching going on. This area, this little inlet here again, This we're probably going to put a pile right here or down here somewhere. But it's time. Tomorrow is a youth season opener. And Gerald and I would really like to take a kid out and film it. Make a whole youth video. I think it'd be cool. <laughs> Nothing. So if I can say anything, like I was saying earlier, if you guys have been seeing a bunch of turkeys or maybe you're like us and you've been struggling to find them, let us know. Let me know. I mean, it's been scarce. It's been very, very scarce. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get her 100 yards long before you're done there, son. <laughs> the old 100 yard long trail. The gold, just follow the golden trail. So this is the plan. He does. Gerald put out a whole golden trail right here. We want to sit right up there. Uh, well, this is going to be a sitting spot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that should be plenty. If that don't get them in here. They are in here. We actually found a couple small trails of tracks, so Two bags ought to do it. I thought we might need three, but two's plenty. <laughs> yep. So like I said, that's our pile. And right up this little embankment, there's a trail right here that has some tracks going up it. And I think Gerald's right. We can sit right in here. 
boom we're actually above them so we'll shoot down at them that will make for a really good video that'll be cool uh we're gonna walk the woods back here we probably wouldn't if we had gotten one to cluck back gobble back but we're gonna look for morels while we're here we're gonna look for sheds because there's great deer out here we are up along we're right against the arkansas river awesome turkey ground amazing deer hunting ground and these woods should should hold a bunch of morel mushrooms and it's that time of year look at this looks like an old pipe trap or something it don't look right if y'all know what type of trap that is it's got a it's got a peanut butter dill on the side of it and it is roped to a limb hmm never seen a trap like that if y'all know what that is called or what that's for I'm assuming that's for coons and possum. Let me know. Let me know down below. Drop a comment. I know there's a lot of you out there. Oh, look at that. Some more deer prints. Finding a lot of deer prints. Some turkey tracks. And zero, absolutely zero <laughs> morel mushrooms. But here in a little bit, after we're done here, we're gonna head to my house. Uh, behind the house, the sand hills, a lot of y'all have already seen it. It is uh, turkey heaven. There's usually a bunch of turkey back there. I have yet to see any, but for the most part, what we're finding out is they haven't split up yet at all. That's why we're not seeing them. Ooh, that's a one heck of a beaver slide. Look at that. Well, like I said, there goes some ducks, two mallards. Like I said, we're down here on the Arkansas River beautiful the river is up and a flowing absolutely gorgeous gorgeous day have not found one single morel mushroom anywhere i figured i would have by now it's been good rain been good moisture i don't get it got one we do you think uh he's gonna work for youth season i think he's as good as dead finally spotted a long beard here it is 2 30 in the afternoon it's ridiculous why are they just not coming out in the mornings you think i think there's just not as good of a population anymore at least in our area you think it was the weather or just the hunting i don't know like this particular property i've killed a lot of birds off of and then two years ago we had a bad flood and this is probably the second long beard i've seen on it since then i think it was the all the rain Oh no, I know this whole property was flooded completely and ever since then there had not been nothing on it hardly. A lot of the properties that we turkey hunt around our area, uh, they're prone to flooding. I don't know if it's just that the turkeys like that flooded type of timber kind of deal. 20 miles away, it's the same thing. They didn't come out in the morning, they're starting to come out in the afternoon. And it is a good, that is a good question. If all the recent spring flooding, all the rain affected affected the population the last few years oh yeah they got the old golf cart we're back at home this is what the golf cart's made for boom I'm telling you it's gonna be the turkey hunting wagon dude it's gonna be silent going in we're gonna get it done with the golf cart i think it's gonna dude it'll work it'll be good yeah i agree he agrees we're out here on the north 40 out here we're gonna make a big old blotch of corn out here. It's gonna be the spot. Look at this, already got a cutout ready to go, dude. Put up a panel blind, you're good to go right there. Got a good hide, out of the sun, in the shade, boom. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Perfect, perfection. Well, the bearded man is now here, and we got the whole crew on the back, all the blondies. Hi still a beautiful day i finally found we we've been moving like i've been telling y'all found my trail cam oh yes we're gonna go put it up right now on the corn pile because i want to catch whatever might be out here obviously we only got corn out uh it's probably just gonna be birds and deer hopefully get some deer that's one thing i'm confident that we'll get on the camera hopefully the turkey move through though 
But then we're going to your spot. And we got to put mm -hmm. out some corn in the same deal for you. This is all prepping for that turkey season. Oh, it's here. I really want, I really want one bad. We're only allowed one a year. One. Half one as many as last year. Per man, one per man. But you know what? We're going to make the best of it. Yeah, might as well. Oh, look at the turkey. Just kidding. It's my decoy. Well, I just got her all set up. She should be ready to go. But right there on the fence post, bam, we'll be ready. Bubba, you better not be eating all my bait. You eating all my bait? No. No? <laughs> oh, look what it is. Look what it is. Why is this seat so far back? Because I slept there a couple days ago. You slept in this seat? Yeah, it wasn't the most comfortable thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, he called me. He's like, Bob, hey, come do this. I'm like, it's windy, man. I don't want to. Okay, here we go. Festiva time. Gotta... Festiva means party time. At some point, this seat will ejecto seto Bobby. Yeah. I know it will. It likes to just give out. The lever will work up on some bumpy roads and boom, she just, she lets you fly. Should probably put my key back in. <laughs> there we go. Hey, there you go. Is that to turn it off? Well, I mean, I can use a coin. It just easier that way so yeah. well here's jordan's pond back here is your family's pond i shouldn't say just your pond yeah you it's probably not want mine that. it's a you, right you probably want that specified his family's pond back here and it is a beauty there are some ducks on it right now there were that four four duck on there that's a good little windmill pond dude mm -hmm. solar powered little pump He's with a work, windmill he's working actually just to get the windmill part so it'll just be all wind run oh that's awesome it'll be cool that's really cool it's a literally right by my house right by the lodge look at this beauty windmill solar powered pump uh there used to be cattle here Ooh, lots of bullfrogs jumping in i see this would fill up run over it would, uh, oh, look at that. A little bit of still shot action. He just stocked it with bass. And uh, he told Jordan, he was like, dude, there are turkeys back there. There were like three toms out here. So, you know Jordan. You know what he's going to be doing. Putting out the corn as well. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, that was, the, that was the strategy right there. I watched my sprinkler in the yard one day. That seems effective. Yep. This is what y'all need to be getting out and doing. Get out there, put some corn out, spot you some turkeys. Uh, tomorrow's youth season, and I believe I am going with a buddy and his younger brother, and I'm going to film their hunt. Oh, well, hi there, Brad. Well, it is the next morning. Got to be quiet. Uh, it's early. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, uh, today, when I said yesterday, tomorrow, today is youth turkey opener. I said, I said. And uh, one of my buddies called and they're like, hey, I got my little brother uh, and my buddy Troy, he has his son. So we're gonna do a double youth banger today. Hopefully they can both get a bird down today. Uh, it's gonna be insane. If this hunt works out, this double youth hunt, this video will go up tomorrow. So these turkey videos, uh, like I said, I want to film other people turkey hunting. I only get to shoot one, you know what I mean? I only get to shoot one this season. Kansas, reduce the limit from two to one. So if you guys like this idea of me filming other people's turkey hunts, I'll be right there, I'll be helping, I'll be in the blind, I'll be right next to them. Be expecting some videos coming your way. But I literally could not sleep last night. Uh, I was up by three o'clock this morning, took a shower, just been tossing and turning because I have been so excited. Feels good being up early. I haven't hunted in, I don't know, probably over a month, month and a half, getting up early, you know what I mean? And I miss it. But be expecting these turkey videos coming y'all's way. And if you have any video recommendations, drop a comment down below and let me know. Be expecting a variety of videos coming your way, especially these turkey hunts. We got some camping, some fishing coming, and some more dairy farm hunts. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when the next turkey video goes up. Big shout out to my notification gang out there. Y'all are amazing. But thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate y'all. But until next time. Peace.
Pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.